Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just wanted to share some news with everyone this afternoon. Um, Cardinal Sean O'Malley, the Archbishop of Boston, has asked me to take a new assignment. I'm going to become pastor of St. Bridget's Parish in Lexington, and that's effective uh, June 1st of this year. So I know many people will, it's a mixed emotions. Um, it's very sad to leave your first assignment. Um, I was sent here back in 2020, and it's been a wonderful three and a half years learning how to be a priest among you. Um, but it's a great honor for um, Cardinal Sean to be appointing someone as young and new as I am uh, as a pastor. And so it's a very exciting opportunity, uh, but I will very much be sad to leave St. Michael's. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'll be sharing it at all the masses this weekend. And I ask for your prayers as we continue to, over the next few months, I, I'll be here until June first when I begin down in Lexington. So thank you for your prayers and certainly know of my prayers for all of you. And uh, it's, a, it's a big job that I'm taking on, so uh, definitely pray for me for the future. So thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Fran Gicko, and I welcome you to St. Michael's Parish for our celebration of the fifth Sunday of Lent. We are especially happy to have those of you watching from home with us virtually at this Mass. Father Ray DeLugos will preside at this liturgy, assisted by Deacon Greg. Today's Mass is offered for Ralph and Angela Gianella. Service to God brings joy to our hearts. May we strive to serve God in all things so that our lives may bear good fruit and bring all to the joy of his kingdom. We invite you to please stand as together we join in our opening hymn found on number 130, 40 Days and 40 Nights on number 130. Forty days and forty nights You were fasting in the wild Forty days and forty nights Tempted and yet undefiled Shall not we your sorrow share And from worldly joys abstain Fasting with unceasing prayer Strong with you to suffer pain Than if Satan on us pass Flash or spirit to assail Victor in the wilderness Grant we may not faint nor fail. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With with your spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, we have been gathered here into the love of God by the love of God. Let us rest in that love so that we might receive from it the healing, the mercy, the forgiveness, and the peace that we need. I confess, I confess Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, 
through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know God, the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive them their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. of your compassion wipe out my offense thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me create in me clean heart a clean heart in me A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. 
with a clean heart, a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart, a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Whoever serves me must follow me, says the Lord, and where I am, there also will my servant be. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, 
and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. you open your Bible at home to the Gospel of John, you will probably notice that it is divided into four parts. There's a short part at the beginning and a short part at the end, the prologue, which is the announcement of the Word made flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then the epilogue, which is the scene on the beach after the resurrection where the disciples are fishing. And Jesus meets them, tells them to cast their nets on the other side. And then it concludes with the great confession of Peter, that indeed he loves the Lord enough to give his life for him. And in between the prologue and the epilogue, there are two books. The first is called the Book of Signs. The second is called the Book of Glory. And that can be a, a little bit of a stumbling block because the book of glory contains the passion and the death, the horror of the crucifixion, as well as the resurrection. But all of it for John is the book of glory. Glory happens on the cross. Glory happens in the resurrection. The book of signs contains several uh, manifestations, I think, of what Jesus and his Father really want for us and what they are willing to do to make it possible to have this. The signs include things like the, the wedding feast of Cana and the turning water into wine, turning scarcity into a rich, flowing abundance of high quality the healing of a royal official's servant on faith alone, the healing of the paralytic at the pool of Bethesda who couldn't get into the water, the healing of the man born blind. It also includes the feeding of the 5,000. Again, an abundance. There should be no scarcity among us. Life is not meant to be a drudgery to be endured but a fullness to be experienced. And so the healings or the signs also include the raising of Lazarus from the dead. Once again, Jesus is telling us we are not created for death. We are created for life. We are not created for scarcity. We are created to enjoy the abundant gifts of God. We are not created to be injured, unwhole, paralyzed, blind. We are created to enjoy the fullness of life and the fullness of health. But the thing is, in order to get from the experience of scarcity and unwholeness to the fullness of life, the gospel that we read Deacon Greg just read to us right now, is the key. It appears right at the end of the Book of Signs and just before the Book of Glory. And it talks about, in one way, in one sentence, how it will come about that God will transform our experience from one of hardship, drudgery, suffering, scarcity, into one of 
health and abundance, fullness and flavor, and freedom. And that is by dying for us. The way to life, as Jesus points out, is death. The way to life, the way to abundance, the way to healing, the way to fullness is the willingness to surrender and let go. The more we try to cling to what we think we have, what we think we need, what we value, what we possess, what we desire, the more we seek that rather than surrendering into God's grace, the less and less of it we will have. So Jesus in the book of signs has shown us what life could be for us if we are willing to do what he does to make it possible. And that is the willingness to empty our hearts, sacrifice ourselves to God's will, offer ourselves in loving service to one another, and not seek our own fulfillment, but seek the fulfillment that God has for us by surrendering, dying, so that instead of being a single grain, we can be a rich harvest. And when everyone does that, or at least most of us do that, instead of clinging to what we have as ours, if we surrender ourselves, if we surrender our desires, if we surrender our, our longings and hopes into God's will, then that grain of wheat that we are does bear much fruit. And there will be plenty of wine and plenty of bread and plenty of health and plenty of wholeness and most of all, plenty of freedom for everyone. One with the community of believers throughout the world, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen. With faith and confidence in the God who loves us, we ask for what we need. For Pope Francis, Cardinal Sean, and all who guide the church, may they be blessed by the Holy Spirit and bear abundant fruit through their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern nations, may the Lord guide their decisions on the path that leads to peace, justice, and the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those preparing to be received into the church this Easter, that they always keep close to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that by keeping Lent well, we will come to the celebration of Easter with hearts and minds renewed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ralph and Angela, Gianella and Ella, and all our beloved dead, may they find eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Loving and gracious God, we ask you to hear and answer these prayers we place before you in faith. Open us to receive your response to our prayers with gratitude and trust. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we offer the gifts of ourselves, let us sing on number 692, I know that my Redeemer lives, number 692. I know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face, to see with my own eyes. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that I shall one day see the goodness of the Lord, when God will wipe away our tears and that will be no more. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. The last day I shall rise again Shall be remade like God My home shall be by God's own side The dying rising Lord I know that my Redeemer lives That I shall rise again I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name. For our, our good, good and the good, good of all, all God's, God's holy, holy church. church. Hear us, almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim.
Therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, all the clergy and all who serve your people. We pray also, O oh God, for any and all of your children harmed through the actions of your church or its ministers. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Lord. Peace to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As we come to the table of the Lord, let us sing with one voice on number 475, I has not seen, number 475. For those 
those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we fade, yet all our days are in your hands. So we return in love what love has made. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. To those who see with eyes of faith, the Lord is ever near, reflected in the faces of all the poor and lowly of the world. I has not seen ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Let us sing on number four hundred and seventy nine. Shelter me, O God. Number four, seven, nine. Shelter me, O God, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my own. When my foes surround me, send me high above their reach. Shelter me, O God, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my own. As a mother gathers her young beneath her care, Shelter me, O God, 
Hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my hope. Though I walk in darkness, through the needles I have death, you will never leave my side. Shelter me, O oh God, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my hope. Let us pray. We pray, almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And let us go forth singing on number 717, Lift High the Cross, number 717. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the combine lift I the cross the love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore his sacred name each newborn servant of the crucified bears on the brow the seal of him who died. Lift I the cross, the love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore his sacred 